Aloha, everybody. Welcome to today's Haleo Maliola health presentation. Uh, today we are doing another Monday Health Corner presented by me. My name is Walker, and I hope you all enjoyed today's presentation of Exercise Food Label Smarts, Woo! presented in association with the American Heart Association. Um, so we'll start as we have been with a very short video that I'm then going to ask all of you a few questions about. But before we go ahead and click play, can I please, please, please have all of you remember to put your first and last names into the chat box for me. And today, as an extra favor to me, could you also put in what island you're on? It would help us so much in all of our reporting and all the record keeping that we do. If all of you would please, please put the island that you are on as well. Thank you all so much for that. I appreciate it. And now we can go ahead and watch that video. Learning how to read and understand food labels can help you make healthier choices. Here is the current and new nutrition label. The serving information tells the size of a single serving and the total number of servings per container or package. It's important to pay attention to the calories per serving and how many servings you're really eating. If you double the servings you eat, you double the calories and nutrients. We want to limit saturated fat, trans fat, sodium levels, and added sugars. Note, added sugars are now displayed on the new label. For a balanced diet, we need dietary fiber, protein, calcium, iron, vitamins, and other nutrients daily. Percent daily values tells us the percent of each nutrient in a single serving in terms of the daily recommended amount. As a guide, when we want to consume less of a nutrient, choose foods with a lower percent daily value of 5% or less. If we want to consume more of a nutrient, we can look for foods with a higher percent daily value, such as 20% or more. We may need to eat less or more than 2,000 calories depending on our age gender, activity level, and whether we're trying to lose, gain, or maintain weight. Your healthcare provider can help you figure out how many calories you need. Awesome. So food labels tell us a lot about the stuff that we eat, right? There's a lot of information on them. Can anyone give me a quick example of something that a food label tells us? I see Barb's hand up. Gonna have to unmute real fast. Like iron? Iron, it does. Food labels tell us how much iron is in your food, right? Awesome. Good job, Barb. Awesome. Smart. Yes, you are. Does anyone else know anything about food labels and what they might tell us? Anyone else want to tell the whole room anything? Hmm. Oh, lots of answers in the chat box. We have Kyle saying calories is something that a food label tells us. That's true. Good job, Kyle. Gilbert is saying vitamin C. Good job, Gilbert. Ryan is also saying calories. Good job, everybody. Oh, and thank you so much for letting me know that the number on the meeting ID is wrong. I am so sorry about that. I will have to fix it immediately after this. The video also tells us that it's important to pay attention to a few things on the labels specifically. Can you name one of the things that the video pointed out? There's one thing in particular that the video really focused on. Ryan. Um, yes. Um, one thing I can't remember on the video was um, calories. Calories, yes, good job. And 
if you'll actually see, that's the one I was talking about. Let's start with calories. Let's go over them. Does anybody know what a calorie is or what a calorie tells us? We've already been through that at least once before. So does anybody remember? Hmm. A calorie is something that tells us how much energy food has. It's the boldest number on our food labels. That means it's the easiest one to see. And it's really, really, really important for, for figuring out how much we should eat, right? So if something has a whole, whole lot of energy, does it have a whole lot or just a little bit of calories? Does anyone know? If something has a lot of energy, does it have more or less calories? Barb? Oh. And I don't know. You don't know? Nope. <laughs> All right, then we'll move on. I see some answers in the chat. Not really the kind of answers I'm looking for. Um, let's, that's a good way to do it though. Can someone give me an example of something that is really, really high in calories? Oh, now you know this one, right, Barb? All right. Soda. Soda. Mm -hmm. What is it? Say it again. Sodas. Sodas. Sodas do have a lot of calories, right? And candy. And candy. And in sodas and candy, what is giving all of those calories to that food? Do you know? From the sugar. From the sugar. It's all coming from sugar. Good job, Barb. And all right, let's try to knock it out of the park one more time. Should we try to eat a lot or just a little bit of sugar? Little. Just a little. Good job. Just a little. Just a little. Good job, Barb. Awesome job, everybody, on that one. Um, can someone give me an example of a food with only a little bit of calories? Something that is low in calories. Can anyone think of any food that's low in calories? Nikki, do you want to try to answer this one? You can say no. It's okay. Lettuce? Lettuce. Lettuce is very low in calories. Good job, Nikki. Thank you so much for that answer. Good job. Uh, usually, all of our vegetables are very, very low in calories. That's why it's very, very good to eat a lot of vegetables. You can eat more of them because they have less calories. Good job, everybody. What did the video, oops, that is from last week. I'm sorry. Uh, what is a serving? Does anybody remember what the video said about a serving? What is a serving? It's written on the label. Well, a serving tells us, oopsies, a serving tells us how much of an item we should have at once. It helps to tell us kind of how big our plates should be when we're thinking about one type of food. When else might you use a serving? I'm checking the chat. Uh, yep, when you're giving yourself or someone else a salad, Nikki. Good job. Ryan is saying, Brian, what food has four servings? What were you saying? Oh, too long a portion of food. Yes, that is the perfect answer for what a serving is. Good job.
I, I was trying to say before, during like, there's four people, like me, my mom, and my dad, and my brother. That's four servings. Right. Good job, Ryan. And if you were reading on a nutrition label and you wanted to find out how much energy or how many calories you and your entire family ate together, how would you do that? Do you know? That's all right. It's kind of a little bit of a trick. All you have to do is take the number that is written real big and real bold on a nutrition label and then just add it together four times. That's it. Because you have four servings that you're trying to give out. Good job, everybody. As always, if any of you have any health questions, Paleo Maliola questions, incentive questions, or song requests for Friday, you can email me. My name, again, my name is Walker. My email is ha at sohawaii.org. I promise to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And of course, we will see you on Wednesday for our yoga workout with Erica. The ID for that is 815-3406-5939. And we'll see that on Wednesday, December 8th at 3.30 p.m. I cannot wait to see you all there. And I know it's going to be a blast.